me. I'm surprised it took me until today to think of this. But this is this was hard. This is carrying these bottles around. Yeah. And I was like, what the hell are they doing? And there's a <laughs> These are great because they're thick. Some of the narrower ones, it's just like a shoelace. Oh, and they, they break? They, they want to dig into you and they break. And they stretch. And, yeah. and then it's like, then they want stuff to fall off. <laughs> All right, just the train. train. And hold the two straps together. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. I like using the A-pack. You have to try to make their Instagram page. It's not an advantage of when I want more space in a ride, I can just kind of puff it up. And then I get more space. That's gotta hurt you. And I'm like, that got hurt. It looks like something. I swear. Yeah. Like, that was the opening day for their RMC. Like their track. Oh, the lockers are open. I get. I I, I can use the locker still. I got my multi-use locker and I got a chance to use it today. <laughs> well, there's a train. Two trains. Station. 
Mind your toes on the edges of that platform, please. Yeah, so we're going to split you up into three different groups. You're going to have to make it a little easier. Yeah, so we'll have a group on top of the station, another one on the bottom, and another one will be on the Swiss track area. This will be outside area. All right. We'll split you guys up. Okay. Oh, nice feeding. I totally forgot that was open. Public. Yeah, until the show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright, All right. come on this way. Alright. This way. Ooh. Hello, hello. Uh. I should definitely be taking a lot of photos back here. Careful, watch your head. Okay. <laughs> So far, until it opens. So some of the rocks we've got around the 
this thing right, right around 500 times. So, uh, so you would be hard pressed to break that record for a while. Playing shot, you'll never get it again. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Are you doing the whole thing? Oh, yeah, I got uh, Can't bring the 360 above my head. 4K on this guy. Pictures on this guy. <laughs> Must document. Sit in it. Yeah. We'll be the dummies. <laughs> yeah, I'm for it. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sign an NDA saying we can't right. do anything. Yeah. Right. Well, I've signed my life away well, already well, saying I won't sue if I die. 
Okay. Step on the rock. Watch your step. <laughs> Ooh, transfer tank. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we were hiding that from you. Will they tell you about that? It's hard to get over in this little area. It's really sweet. Hey, Kev. It's like a powder keg. No. <laughs> uh, Silver Dollar City. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. It has a yeah, because this thing's operating all the time, even while the ride's running. <laughs> But uh, yeah, um, it's got to the opposition to flow, so as the grease is going to get hotter, it's going to thin out. Um, it won't plug up, or not plug, won't create as much resistance to flow uh, inside the ball bearings. So getting it warmer, kind of, I mean, think about it. When you got a, you got a jar of honey, you know, and you heat it up in the microwave and you pour it out, it's a lot thinner. So that grease gets a lot thinner inside those wheels after it gets heat, allows the wheels to spin a little bit faster. So why is that important for like long-term sustainability of the ride? Like, mm, it's uh, more for the conservation of energy, making sure it comes back to run the track. Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> got it, got it. So every every once you get to the top of the hill, you have that's basically you think about it. You go back to physics. You, you've got the kinetic energy of the train coming down the hill. Yep. Everything is trying to fight you on that. So you've got the the urethane wheels that actually absorb energy. The uh, friction from the, the grease in the bearing, the friction from the, the air itself, the drag that's on it, the weight of the train. Well, you can put me on the track. Oh, 
<laughs> Let's create the last thing of the movie roller coaster. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, that's what we need. <laughs> oh if someone had Photoshop skills and just <laughs> Oh the train coming through. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta try that. I'm gonna take that. Do it! <laughs> oh, you to keep going? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna join you up in here. Just go underneath There you go. Alright, I want one of us. How often can you do that? <laughs> I'm gonna pop out. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> but it was worth it. Yeah, with the track of the back. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Like this way. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Okay, that one should be pretty good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Let's see how. You want one? Yeah. Oh. We can take one. With our, I can text it to you. Yeah. Sure. Here you go. Yeah. I'll just stare at you. Hi, thank you very much. Probably better shots than the peeking over the fence all day long. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna get better shots than that. Oh, yeah. Somebody. Blood. <laughs> uh, 
party if they made a blood sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah. 
What camera are you using? The 7S? 7S2. Oh, nice. How's that treating you? Pretty Very well. good. Uh, I want the 3, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about investing in the 3, honestly. Yeah, because the 3S stabilization, yeah, and it's a 4K, 6K. Well, 120. 120, that's what it is. That's a 4K, 120, which yeah, is Yeah, 4K, 120, which is awesome. You know Scott with uh, Upstop Media? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, then that's what he's using a right three? now. Yeah, he's selling S3. Yeah. Yeah, that is like 3500 bucks. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you were showing me the other day. Yeah, you're right. It's great. And you gotta try to figure out how to like, sit down and then get the comfort collar. Oh, but if I had that thing, I'd be shooting really cool Honda Mansion POVs with that. Oh, yeah. So the one goes this one. Yeah. That's why I saw it. Almost 14 years old. Okay. Always I'm a welder in the trade. Wow. That's really cool. That's awesome. Were you working on any of this stuff before that? No. Just got no, I mean, I can see it. I was talking about the comfort car. That's great. place for the car to slide onto if it falls off the track. <laughs> <laughs> Or in 
dimensions in the concrete there, I noticed. So I guess it was piped off. I mean, I go all the way to the shed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Pertaining to the maintenance and keeping it running, I didn't memorize it. Oh, what's the indention in the concrete for? So this overhead hoist, we can actually pull the vehicle straight off this track right here. These metal plates on bolt. Okay. Roll one car off. So that's to clear the uh, the ah. that's underneath. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's why it's a down roll. Uh, so, yeah, I can actually hook this up and pull it forward, and then I'll be able to support it, and then I'll roll it over and stick it inside that shed right there when I'm going to take it apart. Ah. Oh, so okay. <laughs> we touched base briefly on the, um, the annual maintenance and stuff, but everything will get disassembled, inspected, and then reassembled. So all, all the wear tolerances get checked. Uh, different parts undergo different sets of NDT and different inspection protocol, depending on ride manufacturer. Uh, the parts get uh, NDT'd, with a, which is non-destructive tested, uh, with a variety of things we use, uh, not specific to just this ride, but we use Magflux, uh, ultrasound, we've done x-ray, we've done dye penetrant, we've done everything from like certain types of uh, product require eddy current tests. So there's a bunch of different tests that can be performed mm. to inspect parts that are on the ride. You guys do all that on site? Some of it we do. We have a third party that comes in um, and will perform some of those tests. Some of it, we, they don't have a facility or a portable yeah, facility to do that, so they'll actually send it out. Um, we had uh, some hydraulic manifolds and stuff. You can't visually see the internal porting. Uh, and that required to be sent out in the x-ray. Um, looking for uh, cracks in it. That was not done here. Um, it's a, what do they call that? Like a dye or a mag flux? Fluorescent mag flux. We had to send that off property. Um, can't do that here. We don't have a dark room that's capable of that. But, so we, you know, different things require different inspections. How come they leave without the what? They don't like us very much. <laughs> so stand out there with it. Um, I mean, there's, there's a lot of things to consider when you're building a new ride and whether you have the footprint for a large building or not. Um, they didn't really have the footprint with the restaurant pre-existing and what they wanted to build. So. What's the lighting package? I don't really see spots or uh, how do you light it at night? Is it just a spotlight somewhere that I don't see? I think the, the spike has one. Yeah, I'm not aware of any lighting on that, uh, on that section of the ride, but yeah. I know that like, this spike, I believe, is lit from the ground as well as this one. Okay. 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 Um, well, I like to ride coasters in the dark, the darker the better. So. Like one, one neat experience, if you ever get in the mornings when it's foggy out, that's kind of a cool time to be come up and out of the fog bank and back in. I think that's really cool. Oh, that is cool. Oh. Yeah. Did you get to do so the first ride after you uh, take them apart, put them back together? I, just to make sure it runs right? We, we perform a number of hours of testing, loaded and unloaded, before anybody would get back on a vehicle. So um, just like with the commissioning, there's a number of test hours or test cycles. Um, with the commissioning on this was uh, 500 cycles before anybody thought about getting on it. Um, different manufacturers, different requirements, but same thing if we disassemble and reassemble a vehicle and it's to undergo the same vetting process before we let anybody out. Uh, our technicians will write it before any guests come to the park. Sir? Today before... Oh, oops. Go ahead, sir. Okay, today before Kraken opened, I noticed there was two people riding. Are those maintenance people or ride operators? Depends on what time of the day it was. It was so like both before the both departments do it. Uh, it was probably not my uh, operators because they probably completed their inspection around 7 or 7.30. But I saw one during ERT and then I saw one right before 11 go on, so... Yeah, I, I'm not sure what time they rode, but both departments do ride it. We do have one technician that rides every vehicle every day. How long would this... I know 
how long does it usually take to check all the lights before the, the uh, visitors come in? Uh, it depends on the ride and how intense it is. And also, um, we've got staff that starts some areas of the park at four, some start at five, some start at six, depending on okay. what time those like our, our sesame area opens a little bit later, so they come in a little bit later. But uh, we basically backed it up to figure out how long it takes to do all of our inspections and then go from there with staffing and um, kind of plan start times for our team. Some rides have more technicians like Manta. It's a, it's a lot of different areas to try and get around in. Um, that, that is our ride that has the most number of technicians, but it's a really big track that's really inaccessible. So getting in the van lifts, getting in, traveling around in the different areas, you know, we, we have to have more people there to complete those inspections before you get here. On um, some of the smaller or more accessible, flatter kind of rides like this, uh, we have we have less people. Not that there's less to do; it's just it can be done quicker and easier. You know, easy accessibility dictates. Hey, are we going to come in? Then there's always special projects and stuff. Like I said, with the MDT, there's also requirements for the track. Certain percentages of points have to be checked. You get a crane in here overnight with a man basket. Get somebody up in there checking bolts. You know, things like that. So sometimes. You know, that's not an everyday occurrence, so we will schedule it out, plan someone to be starting at midnight, or uh, sometimes we, we were starting when the, the park was closed. So that was a little bit of a challenge. You know, sometimes they plan special events and stuff and trying to get big equipment through the park, so we make it work. Do you have a target for dispatch right now? I don't Seconds. know what it is. Um, there is one. I Okay. Well, that's at one point when we were commissioning we'll and cycling the vehicles, but our operations team really focuses on the, the kind of throughput numbers. My, my numbers that are important to me is that everybody comes back. Yeah. <laughs> everybody comes that's back. I don't care how fast we send lot, them as long as they all come back. Yeah. So that would be preferable, yes. Yeah. So, I mean, safety and the maintenance, that's my field. So I, I know they told me to target throughput. I have no idea what it was. I just be making something. That's like probably in the press release somewhere. <laughs> How are we looking on time, Greg? What are we doing? Is everybody going yeah, out this way? Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll walk around this way. Do they expect to put a roof on? Uh, no. So, it's actually not quite that uncommon to not have a roof. It's actually more the cool than the exceptions. Have you ever been to like, Cedar Point? Most of their coasters are all outside. All their maintenance areas. Our newest one uh, is, uh, is outside. All from the carts in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come back there in the uh, Christmas hall. I'll show you a beer in there. State inspectors in here and stuff. Basically, uh, anytime they get someone new that wants to come up into a ride, we'll get them in here. We've, we've got open door policy. If we had anything to hide, we wouldn't be doing tours like this. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. we, we got a good relationship with a lot of the parks in the area. And, uh, we see, see, um, audit, <laughs> CBS. Yeah. 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 Yeah
VIP tour around there. <laughs> Today is November 20th, so that's us. That's us. Yeah, that's us. Something like this every dozen feet. Are you? I can take a photo of the two of this. Okay, good. I definitely care on the part of them. Back ladder, no. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
stuff, so we try not to take up the plan. But yeah, there's, there's some some areas that are quite stretchy. Any other questions? Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.